So take a time out right now and think about starting a new hobby. So why not go green with the Dallas Stars hockey team? Women are some of their biggest fans and you can be too. And here to clue us in on why so many folks are hooked on this talented team is their newest broadcaster, best looking broadcaster I've seen, <laughs> Miss Allie Lucia. Well, thank you, Susie. Okay, I'm reading all the things about you, but there's one thing that stood out. Which is? Your dad said, don't become a doctor, go into television. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. I know. He told me because he thought my personality was better suited for, for broadcasting, and I think he was right. How so. old were you when he said that? 19. And he just knew, didn't he? He did. He. Uh, I've always been someone, we moved around, we grew up moving around a lot, and I always kind of fit in wherever I went, and so... He just was like, Allie, are you sure you want to be a doctor? Are you sure you wanted to go to school for 12 years? I was like, I don't think so. So instead, I you know, dated a few doctors instead. That's, that's about it. <laughs> that's that's about it. System. Yeah. Smart girl, smart girl. So your, your dad's a coach? Yes. Okay, and so were you expected to do guy things with him or what? He begged me to play hockey, and I didn't want to play hockey. Because you didn't I'm want girly. to lose all your teeth, exactly. obviously, <laughs> I'm and a get lover. punched well, in the face. Well, it's not a very ladylike sport, let's no. just be honest I'm about a it. lover, not a fighter. Yeah. But, but for being not a very ladylike sport, there is quite the female following of the Dallas Stars. What well, do why you, wouldn't there be? Exactly, but what do you think it is about hockey that makes women more excited than, let's say, football or basketball or baseball? Well, I mean, we put on a great show, yeah. Dallas Stars. And uh, I feel like the, the players themselves are easy to get to know, very approachable, and very likable. Uh, Which helps. Yeah. Girls think they have a it's chance also, with them. It's also very fast moving. <laughs> yeah, very right? fast moving. Yeah. And it, it's not like basketball where they're always scoring. You know, goals are few and far between. Mm -hmm. So there's you know, keeps you on your toes when you're watching the game. And I don't think there's a sport out there that is more evident of testosterone than yeah, hockey. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the faces, <laughs> you the know, fighting. all of that. And so we kind of like that in our guys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's it's, it's not a macho, windy. Yeah, it's a macho sport. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. I will say I love going to the Stars game. And it's kind of, you know, it's one of, you like you said, it's they're not scoring all the time like, mm -hmm. base, like basketball. Whereas like baseball, they don't score very much. But it, I feel like they're so, it's well, so drawn out like, yeah, there's not, but I love the back and forth and back and forth uh -huh. of the hockey, which is similar to basketball. Speed. Yeah, yeah. It um, is. Now, and something that I'm really excited about are these new jerseys. Yeah, victory green. A new look. Yes, yes, a new look for the Dallas Stars. <laughs> we have a little model over here. <laughs> that is the newest Dallas Star. <laughs> That's great. I like that jersey. Okay. Starting forward. And you're unlucky. Well, he has to put his pads underneath it. You're, they, they went through two over 200 different renderings of this jersey and came up with this one. Our owner, Mike Madonna, had a big say in it as well. And I didn't want to wear the jersey. I wanted to wear a rich so, hippie. Are, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, you, yeah, you didn't wear a jersey. So, rich are you, jersey are you so like an so unlucky nice. number 13? <laughs> <laughs> there, that 2013 the oh, okay. since that's the year. All of our draft picks, the draft is on June 30th, will be wearing those jerseys when we call their name. I like the little logo. the little lace up right there at the top. That's a cute. How little. many local guys do you have on the team? Are there any Are there any locals on the team? No, um, no natives from Dallas. I'm sure a lot However, of Canadians. Lots of Canadians, um, but the projected number one overall pick. His name is Seth Jones. Unfortunately, the Dallas Stars don't have the number one overall pick. He is from Dallas. Oh. So there, there is a little bit of Dallas. It's good Dallas blood it, out there. Exactly. So have you fallen in love with any of these hockey players? No. Uh, we had a now rule. I went, to I went to a college where my dad was the head coach, and he told me, Allie, if you're going to date a hockey player, you better only date one. So I just didn't date any of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, pass them along, then, if, you, if there's any over yes, there. I'll that, get your number after yeah, and um, not, keep yeah, an eye I mean, out for you. What's the most fun part of being a broadcaster now for you? I think I grew up around sports my whole life, and now to be in the mix and be meeting people all the time that m maybe my father knows uh, is a great reward for me. And, and you know the language. So yes. it's like you're not out there floating around on some with, about something that you don't know anything about. Yeah, you're like a catch. I mean, you're gorgeous. You know, know. sports. We're your new matchmakers here, <laughs> yeah. actually, at the broadcast. Please help me out. Yes. Yes. <laughs>
Oh, and there's Ralph Amati Turco. Cute. Yes, we played in a wiffle ball game for the Rangers Foundation a couple weeks ago. That's and great. Ralph made a great catch, and I pretty much um, foul tipped every single ball. I think the umpire was just helping me out a little bit, trying to make sure I actually hit a ball. So you're not Let's, very athletic. I was a volleyball player, but I didn't play college sports. I'm the only um, non-college athlete of my family. My brothers <laughs> play hockey. My sister was but a really good... But you report on professional sports, so they yeah. can't so there My brother won a gold medal. There's my little like brother, Mario. Oh, 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 wonderful. Not, for USA. Not for USA um, under-20 team in Russia last year. Oh, so. oh that's wow. fantastic. Mm -hmm. So tell us about season tickets. So season Season tickets are on sale. You can buy full season ticket packages or you can buy half season ticket packages and you can just go to DallasStars.com uh, and they just went on sale or they're always on sale but uh, our old season ticket holders had a chance to kind of pick out the new seats for next season. Uh -huh. So now new season ticket hold holders are more and than so welcome to so you'll be that. our little okay. kind of correspondent all this next year. So we're expecting to go to some games. Um, yeah, I know. So I can't have you. wait. Join I've lived here for two and a half years and I've not been to a game yet. You so need I'm to come. Yeah. They're a great show. And You'll to have get to come more back. details on the Dallas Stars, head to our website and click on today's links.